speaking of presidential elections and posturing, um, David Axelrod has a book that's forthcoming, where uh, one of the few th one of the things that have come out of it is uh, President Obama, uh, or Axelrod basically saying, yeah, President Obama was on board with gay marriage the whole time, um, which I, which we all do. He was yes. for it when he was a state legislator. Right. You don't generally go backwards on those things. Um, you know, I mean, I, I thought that was mo one of his most, <laughs> I mean, it turned out he, he did say a, a, a number of things that, that didn't end up being exactly true. I'm still waiting for us to renegotiate NAFTA, by the way. Um, but, but that one was to me was so transparently false when he was saying it, you know, I mean, uh, you know, the, the pollsters were telling him don't come out so soon on this and, and that's what he did. I mean, I actually, you know, uh, it was it's it's interesting insofar as that. I mean, it was already an incredibly partisan issue, and uh, he, I don't know that he could have helped it um, sooner or not, frankly. But I mean, a lot of credit has to go to um, to uh, activists in the the gay community and in support of the gay community. Uh, who, uh, you know, really boxed him in on this. And again, you know, we, we've spoken in the past about how the dynamics of this are a little bit different because, you know, there's some very uh, wealthy uh, and, and, and republic. Uh, there are some very wealthy uh, members of uh, the gay activist community. It's not like, uh, you know, trying to convince uh, millionaires and billionaires to fund a populist movement on some level. Right. Um, and so you get your Paul Singers and people like right. that that are that are big time Republicans. Um, what's his name? One of the I can't think of his name. The the, the big uh, venture capitalist guy from San Francisco. Some other one's not coming to me. Um, and and they're big time Republicans, but they're also you know for gay marriage. And so hell, the Koch brothers claim that they're theoretically in favor of it, but it doesn't much matter when you're funding all the groups that are opposed to it, does it? No. All right. But so, uh, you know, and I, I wasn't surprised at all about that revelation either. And it's um, and I, you know, I, I, I can't help but think that when you hear these revelations from a guy like Axelrod, it is still very much about they them. You know, this is legacy stuff. Axelrod does not strike me as the type of guy who says, like, and now it's time for me to cash in by saying stuff that I don't think the president would want me to. I have a feeling that it's. Uh, he feels pretty confident he can cash in either way, and yeah. this is still part of his project. We need to create a legacy, and, you know, it's uh, the president leaves the office, and we are but for Alabama at this point, uh, you know. Uh, oh, that, that a, wily a, judge. A country that um, uh, all but accepts marriage equality, and that is pretty stunning over the course of six years now. Yeah. I mean, that that's the biggest argument of all for a lot of the stuff we've talked about, which is about how, you know, concepts, culture, it's viral. And once it did, once it uh, takes hold in a few places, uh, you know, it's amazing how it just zings around. And I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are on the fence and weren't quite sure because they just didn't, you know, they didn't spend much time thinking about it. But you know, when it becomes normalized before your eyes, you, you, you get with the crowd. You know what I mean? And and we'll see that on other issues too. I think we're starting to see that on on the issue of uh, pot legalization, for example. Mm. So I mean, I mean, that people. I think that that is going to go so amazingly fast. It looks like we're going to have a ballot initiative in Ohio in 2015. So not even waiting to 16. And there's 65 percent or something are in favor of it. Um, full legalization, not medicinal. My guess is that 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 you're going to have a number of them in 2016 too, and that that's going to go as quickly as, as gay marriage ended up. When it, when so is I, it when it when is this uh, the the ballot initiative is in 2015? The one in Ohio will be yeah. It'll Interesting. Be uh, that's that's fascinating to me. Who is pushing that? Uh, it's a group called Responsible Ohio. I actually know a couple of them. Um, you know, the, there's. I mean, there's there are actually a few Republicans that have come out in favor. The guys who are pushing it right now are, are people that have generally been on the Democratic side of the fence. And they, I'm fascinated yeah. by that because that seems to me that, I mean, when you are uh, 12 months away from an election that you know is going to bring out— um, I mean, it seems to me that if I was a Democrat, I would be thinking, uh, this is a twofer for me to do this in 2016. One— right. I know that it's going to bring out uh, voters who will tend to vote Democratic. And right. Ohio is a swing state, obviously, an incredibly important swing state. 
Uh, and two, I also know that I will have a massive Democratic machine that will help me bring out and that will also help the referendum. So wh- what's the, wh- what's the thinking I, I thought it? of all that, too. These guys are quite sure from – I've heard them talk. and They gave a, a, a public talk the other day that they feel like that they can target and almost turn out their electorate to their liking is what they think. And, and um, I think that there, you know, I think it's so popular right now that um, uh, if they can, you know, get some of those voters out, I think it will pass. I think it likely will. I mean, I just think again, it's you know, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah, you would think, why don't you wait to 16? Uh, but I just, just think we're headed in that direction. And again, there'll be a couple holdouts, you know, maybe some deep south states, maybe some of the sort of Mormon belt out west. You know, but this is going to—I I think there's going to be another one of these things that's going to go really quickly, and you'll have a number more of them. My guess is you'll have a half dozen states, possibly, maybe more, in uh, in 16. I mean, there's 24 states that have ballot initiatives, so you're going to come pretty close in all of those. Yeah. And at that point, the legislatures will do it in places, you know, in, in some other places. And by the time you have like New York and California and Illinois, and you throw in, you know, Ohio is the seventh biggest state, and you get a Pennsylvania, Michigan. I mean, you're dealing with a lot of the population at that point, anyhow. Yeah. There aren't a lot of people living in Wyoming. There's a decent number of cows, um, but I think only about seven or eight hundred thousand people. It hasn't stopped them from having two senators with the power of the two senators from California, however. But that's another discussion.